Hello people, this is SelfTurts and in this video we'll be learning about the installation process of Sphinx and we'll be creating a brand new project of our Sphinx documentation. What I'll do, I'll go to my Linux terminal here and have already created a virtual environment which you can see it is activated also. So this virtual environment is activated and I'm using Python version 3.4. Now, for the installation process of Sphinx, you need to fire the command pip install Sphinx and pip is a package manager used in Python and which says that please install this particular module or this particular library from the pip uh, hosted libraries. So we'll fire this command into our Linux system. So I'll say pip 3.4. Now here I'm using pip 3.4 because I have a, I have Python 3 dot four installed into my operating system and that contains the pip 3.4 package manager so i'm using pip 3.4 so based on your package manager either you are using pip 2 pip 3 pip 4 anything means i mean there can be any pip if the if there's a recent version of pip then that that can also go to pip 4 so you will install that you will use that and use the command pip install and then sphinx so what this will do this will go to the files.pythonhosted.org which is the remote server where the sphinx module has been hosted and it will try to pull that particular module to our local operating system with all the dependencies like this image size talk utils certify id and so these are the different dependencies and it will and it will install these dependencies with sphinx into our local operating system now when you install sphinx so the sphinx has successfully ins installed you will get a command line tool and that command line tool is what it is sphinx quick start so this is a command line tool which will help you to initialize or bootstrap your sphinx project otherwise it will be very difficult for you to write the different files like there is index.rst file con file there is build there is source there is make file so we'll see later on that all those files are present there and if you try to do that manually then it can take time so sphinx has provided this sphinx quick start command line tool through which you can create your brand new project so i'll go to my linux terminal and i'll type sphinx quick start so this sphinx quick start will be present on your command line when you install sphinx project so i'll say sphinx quick start and this will start to create or bootstrap a new project by asking some of uh, some of the basic questions which you need to answer so the first question is what separate source and build directory so yes we want separate source and build directory so it will be why the default choice will be what no but we want to override it so we'll use y name prefix for template so i need default one it is not mandatory so what is the project name so i'll say self turds and who is the author so i'll type my name that is raj ranjan then project language source suffix uh source file suffix rst so these all things are correct so i'll hit enter 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 and it will try to create a new sphinx project now the important file is what create a make file that is yes create windows command file so if you are trying to use the same project or if you use the same project in windows also and in linux so you need to create a windows command file also so yes and this has created some files and some folder inside this self turd sphinx learning directory which we'll see so the project has been bootstrapped and these are the files make.bat make file source and bit for now the the most important folder that for which we are concerned is the source file. So what we'll do, we'll go inside this source file and we'll see the list of files that are present. So there's conf file, index.rst, static and template. So we'll learn about static and templates later on, but for now index.rst and conf is important. So what does index.rst say? It is the entry point of your documentation, which means that if you have created new pages, new folders, new images, then you need to import everything here inside the index.rst for it to work. So when Sphinx will generate a documentation for your uh, source code or the documentation that you have written so the entry point will be index.rst and there is a conf.py file which will help you to configure your project like which theme you are going to use which are the extensions that you are going to use so this conf.py file is very much important and we'll take a look into it so these are some default project configuration that Sphinx quick start has already given. So we will not change anything for now. We'll just see the, that, that there's a hell lot of configuration that can be used, like what is the HTML theme that you will be using. So it is Alabaster that is that it is currently using. So these are the different configurations that are present inside our 
con.py file which we'll change later on in our subsequent videos now once we have created the bootstrap project for sphinx then what we need to do we need to create uh, fire the command make html so that we can create or we can build our documentation from this rst file into html format so it say the html pages are built in build.html so if we'll go inside this build folder which is present in the same folder that is sphinx learning there is a doc trees and html so inside this html you will file these are the different files that has been created so you need not to see these files because these are automatically generated when you fired the command what make html so you need to fire this make dot html make html command where on this root directory that is where you have created your sphinx project so again i'll say make html and it will create something okay now first i'll do what i'll open this folder using my webnut tree i'll go to source and then i'll uh, first i'll not change anything so i have created this index.rst file and i have done make html which have uh, which has built all the files now what i'll do i'll create a new window in my uh, tmux and i'll go inside this build and then html and i'll use the http server that has been installed using npm so i have used watch HTTP server and I'll serve that server on port 9000. So this is the HTML file and I'm 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 serving these HTML files on port 9000 using this watch HTTP server command line tool which is used which has been installed using npm. So you can search for this watch HTTP server using npm and you will you can easily create HTTP servers out of it. So the current files are hosted where this on 000. 9000 which means it can accept on any ip address so i'll go to my browser here so i'll open the browser for now the browser is here this is the sphinx documentation that i was reading and i'll type local host and then 9000 so you can see this is the index space that has come or this is the uh, documentation that has been produced by firing the command make html so welcome to self turds operate uh, documentation indices and table okay now i'll try to change something so i'll come here and i'll say index.rst and here what i'll do welcome to self turds documentation so the spelling mistake is there and i'll say and try to read it and try to read it okay so once i have changed my documentation then what i need to do i'll exit from here then what i need to do i need to fire that command so i'm creating a new here I'm inside Sphinx learning, build HTML, CD dot dot, CD dot dot. And again, what I'll do, I'll activate my virtual environment so that I can use Sphinx command line tool. So source VNB been activated and I'll type the command make HTML. So this will again build my project or build the HTML file. So you can see this has built the HTML files and my HTTP server has automatically reloaded when it has seen some changes. Now I'll come to my browser and I'll hit reload and you can see welcome to self turds have changed the spelling mistake documentation and try to read it. So this way you can produce your own documentation. For now you will see that this documentation is very bad because you can see only a single page in the index there is nothing and in the modules index also there is nothing but later on we'll see that how we can beautify it how we can put new themes and how you can write your own documentation for the source code so this was all about how to install sphinx on your local operating system and how to use it how to use sphinx quick start to create your own project so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you